Morning, Mom. What you up to? Right. Me, what? What are you doing? Stop. You making fish? What kind of fish is that, Mom? No. Stop. Picture that fish. My mom's making fish. What kind of fish? I don't know. You don't know what kind of fish you're making? Really? <laughs> we gotta ease her into these videos, guys. One day. One day. So for my breakfast video today on TED.com, watching how to make work-life balance work. Existence. This guy's pretty good. Vlog! Shout out to all the young bucks doing solid, solid ass programs. Seems like there's one or two different routes most beginners seem to take. The ones that do the research in the beginning, they end up on programs like starting strength or variations of starting strength, like these guys um, were doing starting strength for their first half or full year of lifting or whatever. Or you have the guys who find the magazines and they end up on full body, um, not full body, but uh, five day splits with weekends off. And it is insane because I've observed so much more progress in the kids who've done starting strength and these you know, full body three days per week kind of programs over those who end up not doing research and ending up doing magazine protocols and stuff like that okay at the gym now got our buddies over here john david deadlifting aiden over there andrea over there dick over here nathan over there his girlfriend somewhere there she go b over here i'm doing back right here so let's get started that's just what i have observed myself so this vlog vlog is uh, pretty much a full pull day for me. Uh, when I go to this gym, I really like using uh, certain machines. Like for example, this machine. It's a little bit off. I wish the the pull was a little bit wider, but I actually really like it as is, even if it's kind of off. Um, my pull days, I usually hit two pulls to start with. I'll do a vertical and a horizontal pull. Then I'll hit some biceps, and then I might do another pull. <laughs> And I usually end up with a rear delt thing at the end. So I end up hitting like three exercises for back, one for biceps, and uh, one for shoulder health and rear delt. Here I am taking a quick little break. Something I like to do when I'm doing uh, one-armed exercises like this is uh, I'll take a 15 to 30 second break in between um, the left set and the right set. Or vice versa. So, I like to give myself a little bit of time to recoup and get ready for that next set. Do this for dumbbell um, rows. I'll do this for what other what whatever other exercises maybe one armed. Though things like bicep curls, I'll just do obviously one the other alternating style. So, really focusing on pulling it really far back and controlling it on the way. Uh, back to the starting position. Really, really key point there. To hit this for a single at 230. Yeah. Do it. You need me to film you? Or oh, no, I'm good. And then something crazy. Это мой три плюс работающий сет. Yeah, so exotic. Here's my boy Nick, and he is currently cutting. I think he's dropped, wow, quite a bit of weight, um, maybe 15 to 20 pounds or so. I remember seeing him dominate 225 for sets of like. 6, 8, or 10, or some, somewhere in that rep range. And here he's doing 230 for 4. It's a little bit of a struggle, but uh, I, I gotta remember that, you know, he's dropped like 15 or 20 pounds. So, pretty significant drop for him. It looks like there's a seminar going on over here. And Alberto's leading the way. And eating pop Because when I play Xbox, I sit in my chair. 
You're jacked as fuck. Alright, can I finish this one? Oh, yeah, no. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Midway in set. You're like, what? <laughs> what? It's weird, but just like, just film on them, not even working. It looks yeah. better. <laughs> Now here's one of my favorite exercises here at this gym. I call it the, the diagonal pull. I really have no idea what this damn thing is called. And uh, I also like to do this one arm at a time to really focus on just really hitting the lat, hitting the muscle I'm going for. And uh, I instructed my boy to film the opposite side because I like the way it looks on camera. Whenever I'm hitting my right side, I like the way the left side looks, even better than the right side. It's nothing too impressive on that other side, but on this side, it looks good. I got that side chest going on, the arms, and so on. But with this exercise, I started off doing this exercise really upright, and like, like my body was practically vertical up, up and against that bench. And over time, I've found that, uh, and sometimes you'll notice I don't take these 15, 30 second breaks. Like this exercise, I don't feel like I need that. But, um,. You'll notice that I'm really arching back. I'm arching that lower back back and obviously the upper back back. And uh, really creating an arch that I feel helps me target my, my muscles better. So I'm really hitting the lats by uh, really arching that chest up, um, arching the lower back and the upper back and so on. And uh, I really feel like it's helping me hit the lats. That was one of my main things for this exercise and I've got to thank my boy Abdullah for helping me with that. If you have one of these in your gym and you don't use it, I definitely recommend trying it out because it's seriously one of my favorite back exercises. Damn, man, he just checks out. Yeah, your left side looks 10 times better than uh, your right side. He just fucking put creatine all over that bar. Strong. I'm natural, though, as long as I'm not taking it, I'm natural. I don't think so. Bro. That just tells you what I think about supplements. Are you sure? Because I'm sure a little bit of that seeps into your skin. I baby powder my nuts. Damn, dude. Lessons from a pro. Lessons from a pro, guys. Take notes. So here's Alberto doing some pause squats. Uh, he's doing pause squats for a little while as uh, he returns back to the high bar. He was doing low bar for a while because he... Uh, Slightly, I don't know if I call it an injury, but he slightly um, messed up something in his upper back, his spine region, and uh, forced him to do low bar for a while. Now he's going back to high bar, so he is building his way back up, but for this month, he's doing so by doing uh, uh, pause squats, or at least that's what he told me. <laughs> so. Pause squats are something really fun. Um, once in a while, I like doing them. I've never really done them religiously, like a session after session after session. But uh, it might be something I do every once in a while on a regular basis now. Um, I really like them because it forces you to generate power out that hole and uh, create that explosiveness. Um, and you'll see here, it, like, look at that. It just forces you to be explosive. You know, don't got none of that that stretch, none of that reflex. So, it's something that you might want to try if you haven't before, and it could also help you with your depth when you're doing your non-paused squats, since you obviously go to the limit of your depth on these pause squats. So, it's something I may implement into my training. Uh, we will see. Maybe you know, every I, I go back and forth from a regular squats to pause squats to regular squats and so on. Well, what, what do you guys think? Do you do pause squats? And if you do, how do you implement them into your training? I can't do nothing on 300 grams of carbs. <laughs> Did you eat like a big breakfast? Huh? No. I had seaweed and a burger and a peach. Just like the patty. That's the weirdest combo ever. Have you ever had the wasabi? Seaweed. A burger <laughs> and a peach. <laughs> this guy can fit like anything in his macros. And he's like, he's like you, you, and you. Come with me. <laughs> the seaweed was like, me? Really? <laughs> I'm like zero calories. Here's some more of his paw squats, but this time from behind. You can see he's got his Romelios on. And his little customized belt, Ivory Latino. 
<laughs> and just hit these pause squats. So, yeah. Admiring that depth. He gets deep as fuck on these. So, you guys saw me hit my two poles already a vertical one, a horizontal one. And next up, boom. Barbell curls. I think that's only a 25, so don't be too impressed or anything. It's only a freaking 25. Um, my bicep strength has gone down, you know, as I lost uh, weight. Um, it's one of those things that really, really went. Um, I think I was probably doing this with, you know, 20 more pounds. And for a bicep curl, that's that's a lot of weight since it's such a small muscle. Um, yeah, I was doing 115 for sets of 8 to 10, you know, when I started prep. And here I am, uh, diminished down to a set of 8 with 95 freaking pounds. So, yeah, you, you know, your strength's going to go down. And it's something you got to, to uh, fight against. Try your best to fight that. Uh, drop the weight down to a uh, measly 85 pounds per side for more sets of eight and I did two or three sets of eight with this weight and uh, keeping the form on point not going super crazy uh, for the most part this is how I lift once in a while I may go insane and <laughs> have a little bit of swinging but for the most part the majority of the time this is how I lift um, it may look like it's not intense, quote unquote, but um, <laughs> that's all in the eye of the beholder. It's all subjective because uh, it's very intense. Next up, I have one final pull, and this is uh, called a moto row or a Bol Alberto row or whatever you may want to call it. Um, it can be performed on the ground, or you can call it the doggy style row, either way. One thing I have to remember on this exercise is to uh, arch my lower back. Otherwise, my l I have this thing where my lower back uh, can round really easily in positions like this. So I have to always make sure to uh, keep it arched. This is called the Moto Row or the Alberto Row, like I said. And it, I really f like the way it feels on my shoulders in terms of just my overall shoulder health. And I also like how it helps me target uh, my lats. So it's a good two-in-one for me. I feel like it... Uh, it's something good for me in the long run and uh, it's a very fun exercise to do and it's not incredibly uh, taxing so I'll do this after I hit my biceps after I get those out of the way and I go really hard on them since biceps are a pretty big pretty big priority for me this off season I want those bad boys to grow so that's why I do this pull after those bicep curls just really targeting that lat totally pumping it out and uh, with all these exercises, you know, I'm writing my numbers down on my Excel spreadsheets and I'm making sure to make sure that weights are going up, that I'm getting stronger, that I'm making sure to uh, improve and progress and so on. So I'm never staying out of weight, you know, week after week. Just chilling from boy, just doing some face pulls. So me and my steady lifting brother over here. Yeah, steady lifting. We're about to go eat after this, I think. I'm kind of hungry, guys. What do you think we should eat? Fuddruckers or Chipotle? Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Last but not least, seated or grounded face pulls, I call them. I love face pulls, whether they're on the ground like this, on a bench, seated, standing, whatever, um, because you could pull from so many different angles. If you want, you can put the uh, that rope lower and so you're pulling it up, or you can put it high so you're pulling it down, or you can do it face level like this, but I really like this once again, the rear delts, the medial delts, and also to round out my shoulders, to uh, you know improve my shoulder health, mobility, and so on, so that my shoulders function how they're supposed to, and that I don't get injured. That's a huge priority of mine. Dude, this is I got the bombest post-workout meal I'm fucking being cooked right now. Sweet potato. Baked beans. Bush's baked beans. Frozen turkey. It's already been cooked. It's already been baked. Freaking tastes delicious. And I'm going to do this little vegetable stir fry right here. Throw in some uh, soy sauce. Put a little bit of green beans as well. Dexter. And check out this post-workout meal of the gods. Uh, turkey. Breast. I'm going to sprinkle on some Cholula onto that. Uh, like I said before, the uh, sweet potato. 
bushes baked beans. Let's see what these look like real quick. Oh, fuck. Stir fry vegetables plus green beans and a big ass oka salad. Fuck. Best part of my post workout meal is uh, I usually get to spend a good 45 minutes to an hour with my dad. We watch Dexter together, it's kind of our thing. It's pretty cool though because we always talk about the show after and during the episode. Like, oh, what's gonna happen? It's cool to get, get to spend some time with my dad. Here he comes. Ready for some Dexter? Yeah, I'm ready for some food. Yeah, me too. Okay. Holy shit, I just woke up from the nicest two hour nap ever. Equip me, little bitch! Oh, his cake!